Hi, I'm Brenda Rahm. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to change the foot on your ANOVA machine. The first thing I'm going to do is turn the machine off. You should always turn your machine off when you work on it, just for safety reasons. I'm also going to come around and I'm going to lock the channel lock to keep my machine from moving. It makes it easier to work with the head when it's locked in place, and it also keeps your machine from accidentally sliding right off of the rail. The tools you're going to need to change your foot are your flathead screwdriver and a six millimeter Allen wrench. First, I'm going to move the left handle up out of the way, and I'm going to take the Allen wrench and put it into the Allen screw at the top of the head. I'm going to loosen this, and I'm going to rotate this head towards my left arm. I'm going to pull down on the lever, move it till it locks in place. With the flathead screwdriver, I'm going to loosen the screw that's holding the foot on. There is a spring inside of this foot, and I'm going to release the tension on the foot so that I can release the screw by pushing in with my thumb. Once I get it loose, I can get the rest with my finger. Now the spring is laying right there it does come out, so you need to be careful that it doesn't come out and you lose it. Now, I'm going to put the ruler foot on, so I basically slide it on just like the other one came off. I'm also going to push in on the tension so that I can line the screw up with the hole, get it started. I try to screw it down as far as I can without the screwdriver. Then you can let go, and the screwdriver is just used to tighten it. Don't over tighten it. Now, the foot's on. I'm going to put the head back down. So I reach to the lever, release it. The head will click in place and the foot is on. Okay, next I'm going to pull my handle back down in position and I'm going to move the machine off the right edge of my quilt because I need to see the hole in the thro throat plate. I'm going to use the hand wheel and I'm going to lower the needle down into the hole, making sure that I'm holding the foot center over the hole. Once I can see that my needle is going right down in the middle of the hole, I'm going to take the Allen wrench and tighten the screw back down. Make sure you watch as you do it so that it stays center. Now, I'm going to raise the needle back up with the hand wheel. I'm almost done. I'm gonna walk around and release the channel lock. And then I'm going to turn the machine back on. And I have finished changing that foot. The foot that I just put on is the ruler foot. This foot has a higher edge and it keeps the foot from hopping up on top of your ruler. Other feet are the standard foot that I just took off, comes with your machine. There is an open toe foot used when you need higher visibility when you're quilting. The trapunto foot is very small and it allows you to work right up next to your trapunto. And then the cup foot. And this foot is great in those instances when you are needing to be quilting right on top of the batting or going off of the quilt edge and coming back on. To learn more about ANOVA, visit the ANOVA booth at a quilt show near you and learn why ANOVA is built to quilt.